So Justin Rabone is a buddy of mine. He lives right down the street from me, uh, about 10 minutes down the road. And uh, we've been doing a lot of fishing together. And uh, he does a lot of tournaments. He's a big tournament guy. So I think it'd be interesting to get a complete rundown of his kayak and just see how he approaches kayak fishing since he approaches it from a tournament angler's perspective. Report, sir. You had some blow ups? Yep. What you got? We're on the water, he's fully rigged. Damn My uh, Malibu kayak, Stealth 14. Uh, the nose, we got what they call the gator hatch. Um, pretty much that whole hatch is a hole into the inside of the kayak, so I can store a lot of stuff in there. Say if I were to go to camping or something, you can fit a tent in there easily. Right now, I've got my um, kayak cart. Um, my wheels broken down and put up in there, they fit in there real easily. Um, when traveling, I can fit um, eight, nine foot rods all the way up inside the kayak um, where they're out of sight and stored. Um, it's like you got a little cooler bag. Yeah, or... I got a little um, igloo, uh, a little marine backpack cooler, just keep drinks and stuff in there. Oh. You got, looks like you got a rail blazer. Yeah, these are uh, the rail blazer rod holders on the star ports. Um, I've added these uh, Yak Gear track mounts. Um, after the kayak. This is just a little um, Bluetooth wireless speaker. Waterproof. Huh? Um, waterproof, dust proof. It, it's got a rubberized outside. You can bounce this thing off the pavement and it'll keep on going. Wow. So uh, just get bored, get in, buy myself something, want a little music. I got some music on the water. Nice. So, um, Looks like you got a, a Hero 4. Yep, I got a Hero 4 GoPro up there. Um, All right, so here we got what? It's a Lowrance Hook 4 um, Fish Finder Chart Plotter. It's kind of one of their more basic models, but it does the job for me. Backwater paddle over there, huh? Oh, yeah. I got that because of watching some of your videos, too. So. <laughs> Pretty handy, right? Yeah, it's been great. It works, like say, you can grab onto stuff with the hook, push off if you need to. Um, or I take it offshore with me because it works well as a fish bat um, mm -hmm. for some unruly fish. So I, I really like it. Right on the edge. Cutting board, too. He's yeah. a cutting board. Yeah. Main reason I bought this kayak, though, is this right here which is, this is a built-in live well. Um, I've got it plumbed, but uh, hopefully gonna get a new model here soon. And uh, there's a little drain plug right here that if I take it out, natural fluctuation of water will actually keep bait alive. I don't even need that pump. Nice. So it'd be just one less thing I have to, to put on. Then on either side of the live well, I've got little side hatches. So I've got most of my plastics like on this side, some tools and stuff on the other side. Right. Keeps everything real handy. PFD? PFD. Um, this is actually one that was discontinued. Uh, it was carried by West Marine and their black tip brand. But uh, I like it because of the pockets and everything. So, and then it's got D-rings, it's got built-in plier holders. So I've got everything I need right here on me. Plus it's automatic. It's come in handy a couple of times. Definitely glad to have had it. <laughs> we flipped so, the paddleboard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, uh, so, yak attack, yeah, park and pole. So, uh, the eight foot, eight foot park and pole, yep. And then, what about your um, anchor trolley? Yeah, so uh, just a, I think a yak gear anchor trolley that I installed on it. Um, definitely comes in handy. Got a, a Vizzy Carbon Pro, yep, Vizzy Pole, uh, the Vizzy Pole 2, Vizzy Pole 2, actually, yep. And then, my salt, salt strong, so stay visible on the water, All right? And you got some little uh these are uh or something. yep these are uh homemade um rod and paddle leashes that you get these little called cable cuffs i got these from home depot these right here were like 99 cents a piece uh went to west marine got um got just a bulk length of uh shock cord mm -hmm. and then um just some little these little plastic S uh, clips have oh, worked out well. That I got these either at West Marine or I got them from Home Depot. I can't quite remember. I have not been able to find these plastic ones in a while. And, well, well, right, so the cable cable clip. cable cuff. Yeah, and that's how it's made for wires and stuff. Um, you bundle them together and then it just clips them together. But it works well because I can reach behind here one handed. Say this is on the rod. If I need to grab it real quick, just one handed. 
That's comes cool. off. That's actually a really, really good idea. And not to mention, these are probably gonna have about four or five dollars a piece in each one. You go online, buy any, they're gonna be at least ten dollars a piece. It's like you shrink wrapped it. Um, yeah, it's got a little hog clip, a um, little metal hog clip, and then some shrink wrap just to keep everything tidy. So right, super moving. cheap and uh, does the job. You got your net, floating net. Yep, this is just a little floating wading net, but it's nice and deep. So it works out well for those bigger slot reds and bigger trout. Now, uh, keep in mind, guys, Justin does a lot of tournaments and uh, fishes a lot of organized stuff like that. So he's ready for tournament. He's in tournament mode all the time. So that's why we got the net and just fully rigged, right? Yep. Always, always prepared. And then moving on back. So we got another hatch back here, a little rectangle hatch. Okay. Just got some backup, like hard lures and stuff back there, but it's nice and deep, so I can hold a lot of stuff in there. So this kayak has just storage, storage, and more storage. And then we got a uh, fish bag. Yep, uh, reliable or reliable fishing products. This is probably the best um, fish a kayak fish bag on the market right now. I think so, huh? Yep. Um, it costs. It's a hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, I had the Ice Mule Pro before this and it was good, but the only problem with it, a lot of the insulation comes from you adding air to create uh, insulation around it and it rolled at the top so it was hard to get fish out of at the end of mm. the day. Plus it's very, I, I fish for a lot of snapper, sheep's head, it got punctured. Oh really? This one uses a closed cell foam to insulate it mm -hmm. plus it's really tough vinyl it looks like it's got a good zipper which is always a really problem. hard really heavy duty zippers plus they're uh, non-corrosive that's a big deal yeah a very big deal very big and deal it'll keep ice even on hot summer days for a while wow. it works really well not like i said it's very tough so it holds up snapper fins and sheep's head fins really well sweet okay justin last but not least let's talk about your paddle and your rods Paddle, no limits, Trinity 2.0. It's a full carbon fiber shaft and um, blades. And it's even got, it's an ergonomic handle. That's a beautiful so, paddle, man. Yeah, this is actually, um, bought it from Academy. Probably one of the cheapest um, carbon fiber paddles out there, but super light. What's it run? Um, if I remember right, it's about 140 or 160. That's beautiful. Man. Yeah, and most it. most carbon fiber paddles you're gonna find are well over $200. Yeah, two, so, three, yeah. So it's been good, it's been really good. Nice. And super light, great for offshore days whenever I'm putting in six, seven miles a day offshore. So you'd so. say that's a great budget carbon fiber paddle. Yes, very much so. Yeah, so. man, that's a good deal. All right, so moving on to the rods, what we got? So this is my bread and butter, this is my go-to. Um, it's a pin battle, original pin battle, 2000 on a uh, seven foot pin squadron rod. How do you like that pin squadron? Love it. Great, can great <laughs> rod. Go for it. Like I said, that's a lightweight setup. I can throw it all day, no Man, problem. That's not bad. What's the price on what? the squadron rods? Run about 70 bucks, I believe. Really? So price point's real great. Um, I've had that thing for probably about four or five years now oh, and man, I like it it's got a real nice light tip so I can throw this is a uh, 16th ounce jig head on here with swim bait so it's a super light bait but this um, rods uh, light enough with 10 pound test I can sling it out there real far so, and so you're throwing uh, 10 pound sensitive. power pro yeah 10 pound power pro and then uh, that's just a 10 pound uh, Yozuri fluorocarbon leader. So this is your ultralight rig and, and you use the 2000 just to drop the weight? Yep, drop weight, it's real lightweight and I can handle a lot of stuff on this. I've caught 24 inch trout on this. I've caught big slot reds on this. I've mm -hmm. caught some big stuff and it, it handles no problem. Right. It enables you to keep the rig lighter and uh, be able to throw farther and, say, mo and more. I can throw smaller baits too, which is the key thing a lot of times sometimes those fish are tuned in on smaller baits, so I can cast out there a lot farther and kind of search the area a little bit easier. So you'd say that's kind of your finesse rig? Yeah, yeah. Abu Garcia Pro Max combo. Oh, it comes, I, comes all, all yep, in one? Yep, yep. I got it from uh, West Marine. They had a sale on them for 50 bucks for the combo. So I 50 for the combo? They had a 50% uh, off. Um, quite a few months back so so that's your top water that's that's my top water um right. after watching you throw a lot of top waters with them i was like man it looks like it's a lot more comfortable and it, it has been it, it is i love it? it it can really reach out there too so and on the end here we got this is the unfair dog walker this is my go-to top water it's a bigger top water but it's uh the sound on it's really good it makes a lot of noise and uh, action, it's really easy to walk the dog with. Talk to me about your leader and your, and your clip. 
Uh, got the tackle angler uh, 50 pound clip on there. It makes quick changing in case I want to change out to maybe some other top waters or a little bit smaller top waters. Then just with some uh, 20 pound uh, Yozuri fluorocarbon. That's just a double uni. Double uni. Uh, double uni to uh, 10 pound uh, <coughs> mono. All right. So moving on back, you got two more rods back there. Yep. So. This is definitely a tournament fisherman's boat, man. <laughs> it reminds me of Mike Iaconelli in the front of a bass boat. You got. <laughs> Every rod's got a certain lure. I'll uh, say I have it to where I can quick grab. Now that's a uh, Rapala um, Shad uh, Shatter Rap Shad. That's a bad to the bone lure. The, those work great in this area. You just cast and retrieve pretty much, and it it makes a lot of noise. Um, so that's been kind of one of my go-to uh, lit baits nice. here recently. And talk to me about the reel and rod. Reel is a uh, Pin Clash 4000. A um, little bit bigger for inshore, but I like having a little bit bigger rod just in case, you know, get in some bigger reds or something. Um, but a super lightweight still. Then the uh, rod is a um, buddy of mine, builds custom rods. Uh, Pure Pest is his uh, nickname. And this is a uh, Batson, is the uh, blank. That's like a seven foot Batson. And uh, really, really nice power curve on it, but really nice light tip. So it's a lot, really sensitive, but I can still, I've hauled in King Mackerel and other big fish on this uh, nice. rod. And so we're throwing what, 30 pound power uh, This is 20 pounds, 20? 20 pound. Say so about the biggest I go for inshore is about 20 pounds. All right, so we got one more rod back there. And then last rod. Last but not least. Just kind of the. I'll tether it in. It's a uh, Penn SSV 3500 um, on a Daiwa Acceler. Um, this is the seven foot medium heavy rod. And uh, that's the one of the unfair smack shads that I've been trying out. Haven't had much luck with it yet, but fishing conditions haven't been great lately, so not giving up on it yet. But a nice little kind of jerk bait. Um, and what reel again is that? It's a uh, Spin Fisher uh, SSV uh, 3500. Well, there you go, people. There's Justin Rabone's complete rig, ready to hit a tournament any day of the week. All right, where are we fishing, Justin? Where are we headed? Uh, Gonna keep heading to the east a little bit, see what we can find out here on the uh, flats over here at the Naval Live Oaks in Gulf Breeze. Into the sun, I got it, let's do it. <laughs> scrimp on there look at him coming at just wow man ain't bad huh oh spit it all right let me show you what i'm using doa shrimp i use a small one i used to go for a little bit bigger one for more casting range but because i have my 2500 like justin was saying i can sling this sucker pretty far to hit up to Justin I just rinsing my reels down after our trip it's a six dollar Home Depot pump sprayer it's the one gallon works perfect gives you the right amount of spray for rinsing down reels with fresh water and stuff after a trip is Home Depot your favorite tackle shop uh slowly becoming <laughs> be whenever I can find stuff like that there's Justin tearing down his boat put up his rod leashes everything goes in the hull there goes his yak tack busy carbon pro Busy Pro 2. That goes in the hull. Everything goes in the hull. Everything? Everything. Even the rods? Even the rods. Look at oh, that. I like this kayak. Down the side. So you just store it in there for next time? Ready to uh, I'd at least get it home, then I let everything dry out whenever I get home. Um, and depending on if I'm doing an inshore trip, Within a couple of days, like I'll probably be going out Friday, maybe inshore or something. So, yeah, everything will probably stay in there then, but I'll change it out if I do offshore or whatever. So, but it makes it nice whenever it's in the back of the truck. Everything's inside the kayak. Nobody can really see it. So, I've had like six, seven rods in here at a time, too. So, 
I can fit plenty in here while traveling. How do you like your sea tug? I uh, really like it. Um, doesn't tow as well through the sand as like the wheelies and stuff, but it's better than dragging the kayaks. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, don't have to worry about punctures. Plus, it breaks down really easily. Instead more of versatile. Kayak. Yeah, it's got a lot more application to the wheelies. I can take it off rough terrain like we just came through because there's always a bunch of sticks and stuff to launch. Now, it's probably easily puncture wheelies. The wheelies uh, are bulky too. Yeah, they're really bulky. So, I, I like them. They're cheaper. Plus, they're more versatile on what you can do with them. $80 Harbor Freight bed extender works perfectly. This thing's been around the block, man. I've had it for three years. Uh, it, salt water's kind of getting to it, but like I said, it's only $80. Bucks worth, so if I get four or five years out of it, I have to get another one. I'd say it serves its purpose. Oh, yeah.